Good morning, everybody. This is Dana Wilson with Keller Williams Realty, and I'm a seniors real estate specialist here in Contra Costa County. And I'm very happy to have everyone joining us today to talk about socially distanced and staying connected. A little housekeeping before we get going. We will be introducing our sponsors at the end after Q&A. And if you have questions for Annette or Larry, I'm gonna ask that you hover over the Q&A icon at the bottom of your screen and you can go ahead and type in your questions. So um, just as a quick introduction to the seminars themselves, if you're a newbie, were you invited by one of our groupies? We are having a monthly raffle prize and we have kind of a neat one this month, but I'll need to know if you're new for the first time and who invited you. So we can make sure we put their name in the raffle drawing for this month. Um, we're just excited to continue to bring you these sponsored seminars that are free. The whole goal is to educate and empower our local baby boomers, Zoomers, and savvy seniors on the move. And it's just part of how we support the communities that we work in, live, and uh, play in and serve. Um, and so this series is really focused on the unique and complex issues that people over 65 are faced with um, as we age and uh, want to do it as successfully as possible. So we've got some wonderful expert panelists with us today, and I am going to allow them to introduce themselves now, and then we're just gonna get into our question and answer and learn a little bit more about how we can stay connected while continuing to be socially distanced. I thought this was a very timely uh, topic, obviously, to discuss. Um, so, Annette, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself. Thank you so much for being here today and tell us who you are and a little bit about um, what you do and who you're with. Thank you so much, Dana, for inviting me. It's a pleasure. I'm Annette Bolter. I'm a program manager with Covia. We're a nonprofit that's been in the larger, the greater Bay Area community for more than 50 years. I work specifically in our Well Connected program, which I'm going to be talking about today. Uh, I've been with Covia for about five years, and my background is in public health. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, now, I'm going to share with our attendees that Annette does need to pop off uh, a little before we end today. So she graciously um, still agreed to join us. So I'm gonna just jump in and um, first we'll have Le Larry introduce himself, but then we're gonna go back to Annette and have, and we're gonna dig a little deeper into what Kobe is all about. So Larry, who, who are you? I'm Larry Toy and I'm uh, president of La Mirinda Village. We're also a nonprofit locally in La Mirinda. And uh, I've been on the board of La Mirinda Village since uh, 2018, and I've been president. This is my second year as president of the board. And I'm previously in my previous life, I was an astronomer, and I also uh, uh, was the CEO of a, um, a foundation which I started. Wow! And that uh, we're not going to say what it is, but that explains your um, email address. Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Well, we'll get to you in a bit, Larry, but um, Annette, what is Covia? What all does it do? When was it started? Who does it serve? And you know, do you have to join it? Like, we don't know what Covia is about. So educate us. Okay, so Covia is a nonprofit. As I said, we've been in the Greater Bay Area for uh, more than 50 years. We started out a long time ago in senior housing. So that's where our roots are. Mm -hmm. uh, we were actually founded by the Episcopal Diocese of San Francisco. So we're now no longer a part of the diocese, but we still have that, that, that roots of senior housing and the mission of giving back to the community. So that's kind of like broad strokes what Covia as an organization is. Um, we do have life plan communities. We have truly affordable, uh, truly affordable, meaning HUD 202, um, older adult housing around the Bay Area. Um, and then we also have our community services division, which is where I'm housed. 
our community services division was, was born out of that just serving back to the community that's part of our, our of our mission and our community services division has a range of services um, so i'll briefly touch on each of them and then we'll dig into well connected well connected is our flagship program it's been around for about 16 years um, i'm going to talk about that in detail um, social call is a one-on-one -on -one phone call it's like a friendly visit by phone with a volunteer uh, weekly uh, we also have our home match program which is in several bay area communities including all over contra costa county marin county san francisco county um monterey county not i don't think all of monterey county but parts of it um and we're also branching out into oakland fremont and the union city area as well so home match is our roommate matching service so here's where we match up older adults who might have a spare room in their home who are looking for a little companionship and extra income and are willing to provide that space to someone who's looking for a safe stable affordable place to live in the bay area which as you know is hard to come by um, so that's home match we also have our market day program, which is our little uh, mini farmers markets that are housed in um, partner organizations, either senior housing, senior centers, community centers. And here's where we bring just fresh, wholesome, nutritious food at wholesale prices to older adults who might have trouble getting to a supermarket or who only wanna buy small quantities and wanna have something convenient that's, that's close by. Um, market days, unfortunately, been on hiatus since the pandemic because it's just mm. hard to do that. Um, mm. But we have been delivering groceries at the sites where we normally host a market. So can I interrupt you real quick and ask a quick question just before we move on to other things? And I know this isn't really the, uh, the core of our topic today, but where in Contra Costa would these market days typically be held? We have a couple sites. We have uh, one in Brentwood, uh, one in Pittsburgh, one in San Ramon, one in Walnut Creek. So probably the closest to you folks in La Marinda um, would be the Walnut Creek one, which is at it's our partner is the Walnut Creek Seniors um, at the Civic Center mm -hmm. Park. Um, so that's the big, that's the, probably our biggest market in, um, in Contra Costa County. The others are smaller and mostly serve the communities where they're at. Okay. So, San, yeah. That's great. And by the way, um, the attendees that are here today could be coming from as far as San Francisco. Most of us are in Contra Costa, but I do know we have people that join from Sunol, Brentwood. I mean, we're all over the place. So um, I'd say, I'll, I'd say the majority that are on today are from maybe the greater Walnut Creek, La Marinda area, but there are other places that we, we come from. Um, and then the, the, the home match is fabulous. And you presented that to our senior solutions group about a year or two ago. Um, what would people wanna know about that just real quickly? I think, um, I mean, in a nutshell, if, if you have, if you have a spare room um, and who doesn't want companionship, I mean, I think that's the biggest plus of home match. It, mm -hmm. The most important selling point is just having somebody to say good morning to every day. I mean, honestly, that, that's what it's about. It's a, it's a high touch program. So we spend a lot of time with anyone in this program. We interview all of our home owners and our home seekers extensively and we try Good. to match up people so that we have a compatible relationship to share a home so it's not just about renting your space mm -hmm. it's about offering a um, a safe mediator who can put a couple people together who we hope are going to work out for a long-term relationship um, and our matches generally do that they stick together for quite a while and they become friends um, Aww. So really the goal is, like I said, I mean, it's kind of twofold. Um, we are providing, you know, a, a housing option for folks who are struggling out there. Mm -hmm. But for older adults, just having that little extra income coming in um, to maintain a home is really helpful. And like I said, just the companionship of having someone around is, is really critical. Um, 
a nice feature of it is that we sometimes do negotiate or the two people that we put together negotiate a service exchange. So rent can be even as low as $100 if you want your person who's sharing with you to provide you with a bunch of help, like walk your dog, you know, uh, mow the lawn, you know, do the dishes, clean Fabulous. your house, Fabulous. stuff like that that you're not able to do, maybe even drive you to medical appointments. Um, so that's where it can be a real win-win for, for, for both parties. And that, I love that. And you know what? The more that you talked about it, of course, that has to do with connection. But that's not socially distanced connection, but that is definitely being it's not, connected. It's not. And we have struggled a little bit during the pandemic because we've been having to do all of our interviews virtually. Of course. We normally, we normally do face-to-face -face, um, interviews. We always visit the home to sort of check out, make sure it's a safe place and it's uh, appropriate to you know, sure. bring another person in. So we are having to make a few accommodations, um, yes. but folks are definitely still being matched. Good, perfect. Yeah, I've gone virtual for the majority of my meetings as well until I have to actually go see the properties. Um, so tell us, um, is there a cost to Covia and how are you funded? There's not. So all of our community services programs, as I said, because it's our mission to give back to the community, they are free to any participant in those programs. All of our programs are available to anyone 60 plus and they're free. Um, we do a lot of stuff on the back end to make that available, obviously. So, sure. you know, we, we do fundraisers, we don't, we take your don't, we'll take donations. We do grant writing. We're a nonprofit. So you know how that goes. You kind of have to just do whatever you can to keep the doors open. That is awesome. Well, so let's zero in maybe on a couple of your programs, the Well Connected and the Social Call. Um, and I know, you know, for instance, a lot of people might want to be attending these that even though we do provide a phone number to join these seminars, I just don't think they're getting the information because we're sharing that information online. You know, this is really tough. Uh, to get connected to the people in the ways that they need to be connected. Um, so let's jump into Well Connected, if we, if you would. Yeah, so Well Connected's been around for about 16 years, as I said. It's always been a virtual program. So we just happen to be in the right place at the wrong time, I guess, would be a way <laughs> to look at it. Yeah. Um, our numbers have definitely swelled since the pandemic hit. Uh, yeah. People have realized that even if they might have heard about us and not actually tried it, now they're actually trying um, because it, the goal of the program is to connect people. So, you know, social connection is what it's all about, social connection and engagement. And here at Well Connected, we definitely like to flip the switch on the whole loneliness and isolation um, issue and say that really what we're about is connecting and engaging people. Uh, it just so happens that if you are connected socially with others, your health is going to be better. Your physical and your emotional and mental health is going to be better. We know this. There are, there are scientific um, studies that show that. Mm -hmm. um, so like I said, we've always been virtual. We started out as purely phone-based. Um, about five or six years ago, we did a couple things. We um, increased our online um, at, uh, programming as well as we went nationwide. So you might be in a group with anyone from uh, Alaska to Hawaii and New York and everywhere in between. Um, we have programming from about 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific every single day of the year. This is something that, st that sets us apart from other virtual programming that, that is live and interactive is that we're here on the weekends, we're here on Christmas day, we're here on New Year's day, we're here when people aren't there. So um, that, is, that is a real plus. We also like to say that what we're doing is creating community. Even though it's a virtual community, it really is a community. We have folks who have been in our program for many, many, many years, and they literally say that their best friends are there too. Um, they've made relationships in our program, even though they might not have met face-to-face -face with the person. Um, our programming is designed to... Um, like I said, uh, connect people uh, with each other, with peers. All of our programming is facilitated by a real life person um, who's been trained and supported by our organization. It's typically a peer volunteer. So someone who's an older adult themselves. And we have oh. um, a couple different things going on uh, at Well Connected. We have a bunch of um, just discussion and chat groups 
um, around a topic, could be a book club, could be talking about sports, could be um, bird watching, could be arts programming. Maybe you wanna take a watercolor class um, or learn how to write haiku. Um, just about anything you can think of. We like to think there's something for everyone at Well Connected. Um, about a quarter of our programming is also in our, what we would call a lifelong learning type of bucket. So here's where we bring on experts and professionals to present um, information and um, be able to interact with our audience and ask questions. So you can learn about, you know, best health practices on how to manage your diabetes or how to keep your blood pressure under control, as well as go visit a world-class museum. Um, one of our most popular groups in that lifelong learning series is our Museums at Home series. Um, we have partnerships with world-class museums across the United States, including New York MoMA, um, the de Young, uh, and the other fine arts museums in San Francisco, um, and a bunch of other places in between. We just, I just recently um, formed a partnership with the Millicent Rogers Museum in New Mexico, and, uh, and they are really fabulous because they're bringing to us that, that whole um, Southwest native art that is just really fabulous. Um, so you can visit one of these museums virtually with Well Connected. Um, that's a hugely popular group. Um, so may, may I ask? Yeah. So how does that? So how does that work? So I sign up to tour um, a museum, and you're saying there's a live person. Are they literally walking through the museum physically, or how does that work? And then there's only going to be a certain set time. So my tour would be, let's say, at 5 p.m. Right. Right. So all of our programming is scheduled. We have a published schedule. You sign up with us. First of all, we send you the schedule. We send you this lovely catalog that describes everything um, in detail about the programming that's on there. And then you pick and choose what activities you want to do, what groups you want to join. If you want to go to that museum, you figure out when it's on, you join us at that time. Um, it's not a live walkthrough of the museum. What it is, is we're looking at the images on screen of what is in the exhibition. And that exhibition is curated by one of the museum's docents. So we get a trained person who's going to give us an art, art, art historical um, presentation, including images on screen. Um, now that is that does tend to lend itself to an online experience just because of the visuals. But at Well Connected, we're acutely aware that there are many people across the country who don't have internet access. And all of our programming at is at, at will always be accessible to anyone, even if they just have that landline phone that's still bolted to their kitchen wall. Um, if you want to experience a museum tour with us and you want to phone it in, you absolutely can. And what we will do for you is we'll mail you the images that people are going to see on screen ahead of time. So wow. you'll get the images in the mail. You can follow through at home and see all of that fabulous artwork and still e experience the exhibition. At That's home. amazing. I mean, that is, that is amazing. You are really, you've thought of everything. So you mentioned a lot of things and you, you're speaking very fast and I was trying to take some notes of all the different things that I could attend and get involved with in Well Connected. So I heard tours, I heard, just go over that list again, kind of. Yeah, I'm sorry, I do speak quickly and people complain to me all the time that I speak too fast. <laughs> um, so we have, uh, we have a bunch of programming. We have more than a hundred groups, individual groups happening every week. Um, I talked about the museums just because it's hugely popular. Yes. We have several other groups like that where there's maybe a visual element or something like really exciting. Like we have a travel series. Um, yesterday, we just went to, um, where did we go this week? Oh, when we're all so looking forward to getting back to traveling. This is, I know. I'm I sure know. this is hugely, hugely popular right it's now. It's hugely popular. So we might have up to 100 people on one of those travel groups. Um, we've been to Timbuktu. We've been to the <laughs> Arctic. We've been everywhere. Nice. We've been on safari. It's really great. Um, our discussion groups tend to be more intimate places where people can meet and chat. And that is the whole, that is like the core of what we do. Uh -huh. um, we have a group that's called Gratitude. It's so popular that 
um, and it's just so core to what we do is we offer it 17 times a week. You can share your gratitude at 7 a.m., 9 a.m., or even at noon, um, every single day of the week. It's a really simple concept. We know, even from, from, um, from, from scientific studies, that if you share what you're grateful for, it actually makes you feel good. Um, it actually improves your mental and emotional health. It helps you be connected to yourself and to others. And sharing that gratitude is just a really simple way of, um, of making you feel good and having a positive experience in your life. So our gratitude groups are like just really um, like one of the linchpin kind of programs of, of what we do. Um, and it really is, like I said, a simple idea, but you just share what you're grateful for in a, in a, in a smaller group setting with others and just feel good for the rest of the day. May I ask, because I'm thinking, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm learning the way everyone else uh, is, you know, the attendees are today. And I'm wondering, so if I wanted to kind of check, check a group out, but I, I'm too afraid or shy, I'm not ready to kind of jump in and be part of some small intimate group. And I kind of feel like, well, maybe they've been meeting for years and they know each other. I mean, can you try a group out or can you, can you, you know, kind of uh, join one and, but, but not participate? Like how, how would I feel about yep. that? You can, you can participate to, uh, uh, to the extent that you feel comfortable doing that. Okay. So maybe you want to just listen in for the first couple of few times mm -hmm. uh, to just get a sense of what it's like and what the people are like and how it, how it works. Uh, we have new people joining us all the time. Uh, and we, we do stress with our facilitators. Those are our trained moderators on every single one of these groups. We, we meet with them once a month and we stress with them, hey, you know, the whole point of Well Connected is to be a welcoming place, especially to newcomers. So yeah, we do have some people who have been around and been with us for a long, long time. We have new people every single day who is their first time ever. Um, so the goal of Well Connected is to provide a safe, welcoming um, and positive place to spend your time. And we know that people, um, you know, have all kinds of different things going on in their lives. Um, well Connected is a great leveler. You know, you can be, um, you can be bed bound and still be an active participant in Well Connected. You can be going, you can be going and running, you know, training for your next marathon and still be an active, welcoming, uh, welcomed participant and well connected. Um, so, you know, we're, we're here for anyone at any, you know, any time and you can pick up and, you know, pick up groups to the extent that it works with your schedule or whatever you feel like doing today. We have folks who join us just for museums. That's all they want to do because they just love going to museums. And then we have other people who spend a lot of time with us. So it really just depends on, on what, what, um, what your needs are and what, what you want to do. I love that. So, so is there anything else about Well Connected we should know or how would people learn about all the different things you offer? Mm -hmm. And then there's, of course, there's, you could go on your website, which will send yeah. out the link to everyone in our follow-up email today. Um, and I'm, you said you could get things in the mail. So is that- uh, Someone just asked a question. Do we have concerts? Yes, we do. We have a couple of music programs. Um, we have, um, we do have uh, a couple of uh, call-in music shows. We have a DJ show, for instance, where people call in and request um, songs, which is really fun. Um, we also have uh, another music show that um, sort of delves into what the song means. So the, the facilitator might come prepared with a particular song and talk about the social, historical, political context of what the lyrics meant, and then uh, also take requests. And then one of our, um, one of our musician uh, facilitators does provide a concert series for us. She doesn't do this every single time. So I'd really love to get her to do it every single time. And what I mean by time is that we break up our session, we break up the year into three separate sessions. So we have winter, then spring, summer, then fall. Uh -huh. um, but she um, does do a concert series for us. Um, and she's a, a trained musician. She brings to us curated pieces that we listen to. So it's not a live concert because 
live concerts are just really hard to listen to online or virtually. Um, there's just something about live music that's really tricky to do with the technology and the lags in between because of the mm. internet and all that stuff. Okay. We, we do play pre-recorded music. Um, so that's the experience you would get of music. It's a pre-recorded session. That's a great question. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's you jump into- You also had another so, question um, about- well, Can we get, how, you know what, Annette, can we get yeah. to the questions at the end? Sure. Okay, or well, if as long as you're jumping into that, if, let's see. Yeah, well, you had a question that I wanted to answer about just how do you find out about us and what do you, how do you get connected and all of that stuff? We do yeah. have a website that Dana will provide you with the link to. You can register with us online at that website. There's a button. There are a couple buttons on that website. The first button is you can download our catalog so you can see what is available this current session. So you can Perfect. take a look at the programming and see if there's anything that interests you. There's another button where you can click on to join um, to join us, to sign up. Um, we, we are a membership-based organization. So even though we're free, we do ask that you sign up with us. Um, we don't just publish all of our you know, secret codes to the universe. Um, so you sign up, then we ma mail you. And you, can, you don't have to sign up online, by the way. If you want to call us, that's the simplest and easiest thing to do. Perfect. The phone number to our office is right there on the front of our catalog. It's right there on our website. And Emma, our lovely person who answers the phone, is there live. And she spends the whole day talking to people who want to sign up. And she will explain how it all works and what you do and what's going to happen. Um, so it, it, the easiest thing to do is just call us. Um, so you sign up and then we mail you all of the materials. So that catalog that you can see online we mail you a lovely printed copy of it nice we also mail you the calendar which is just the schedule of all those groups that i talked about um, with our secret codes and then you just <laughs> read through the catalog find something you like take a look at when it's on the schedule call in at that time enter your secret code and th and there you are you're on a, on the program nice Excellent. I'm, I'm getting excited uh, and I'm old enough to join. So there. Um, <laughs> so social call, tell us a little bit more in depth and then um, we'll make sure that there's all, all of the questions for you are answered. But my so social call and then I think next I'd want to learn how someone could volunteer to help. So oh, perfect. Yeah. So social call is really simple. It's not a, it's not a big complicated program like Well Connected is. Um, it really is just matching up two people with common interests to spend some time together with each other. Perfect. Um, we offer um, this program also nationwide. So you might be, if you sign up to receive a call or uh, you might be speaking with someone who's not in the Bay Area. Um, it would be anyone across the country who's 18 plus. So it could be a younger person as well. Um, a lot oh. of our volunteers um, are younger. So um, it is a chance to have uh, more of an intergenerational experience. That's excellent. That's excellent. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, it's really sweet. Uh, really sweet. I mean, we have matches that have been together for a long time and folks really do enjoy each other and get to know each other pretty well. Um, so it really is just about matching people together who have common interests, who want to chat with each other once a week um, and, and have that, just, just that, that friendship That's um, huge. evolve. Yeah, that's yeah. huge. And then I'm sure things change and people come and go and you can get rematched with somebody else too. Yep, absolutely. I love it. Um, okay, and then real quickly before I let you go, um, how would someone get involved in volunteering if somebody wanted yes. to be like an expert subject matter or yes. just volunteer in any way? I don't know what what people can do to help. Oh, they can help because both of these programs are run on volunteers, as you can imagine. Perfect. So every one of our groups on Well Connected is facilitated, as I said, by a trained volunteer. So if you've just got a special passion, you know, maybe you love gardening or crocheting, or maybe you love to talk about African-American history, whatever it is, mm -hmm. um, there's someone who wants to talk about that with you. So we love volunteers on Well Connected. Um, we can get you started uh, with just a really simple idea for a group and you might want to, want to dip your toe in and do one time or once a month or just, you know. I had somebody yesterday who I was talking to, she wants to do a joke-a-thon 
uh, just once a month, she wants to get on half for half an hour and tell jokes and have other people tell jokes. So I think that's going to be fun. We and need to laugh more. We do need to laugh. We definitely need to laugh. Um, I love it. So yeah, and social call is obviously also um, just run on volunteer matches. So if you want to telephone someone else, we would love for you to do that. It's the Aww. simplest way to volunteer with yes. us. Really, it's just to sign up and say, "I want to, I want to provide a social call to someone from the comfort of your own home." You don't have to go anywhere. You don't even have to get out of your pajamas. And you're doing something wonderful. And as we know, when you volunteer, it literally feeds you probably more than it does the person that Absolutely. you're helping. So Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, then I'm going to just ask if there's any other questions for Annette. And if not, we're going to let her go on to her next uh, appointment that she's scheduled for because we're in the world of Zooms, Zooming. We're all Zooming. Um, so no additional questions. But of course, if anyone has questions for her that you think of later on, you will have her contact information and you'll have all the information on how to get um, more, I guess, uh, connected with Tovia, right? Absolutely. And I will just leave you the, with this one thing. We're not saying socially distanced here at Well Connected. We might be physically distanced, but we're certainly not socially distanced. Right, right, right. Yeah. So say, stay socially connected. Socially connected, physically distanced. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Well then thank you. Thank you for your time. And we're going to let you scoot and we're going to turn everyone. the time over to Larry. Thank you so much, Annette. Really enjoyed your talk. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Okay, Mr. Larry. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So, so we know that you're with La Mirinda Village and I am just honored to be one of the, I guess, whatever I'm called, a preferred service provider or something. And I've been involved with a couple of the other villages, but, um, you know, here's the question that I get asked. Well, Dana, where is this village? What, what, what is this village all about? And so if you wouldn't mind giving us just a quick background on what it is, where did it start and, and where is it? Well, let me start uh, by saying that La Mirinda Village, the idea of La Mirinda Village started about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And it came from the idea started in Boston in, at Beacon Hill, where people around that area, neighbors, talk to each other saying, we want to stay in our homes as long as possible, as long as we want to stay in our homes. They were not looking forward to going to uh, retirement villages or particularly to assisted living or nursing homes. And they figure out a way of doing it. And if, as you know, the economics of going to assisted living or, or nursing homes is quite challenging to people. You can see costs are approaching $10,000 a month. And they decided to develop a model, which we then took in La Mirinda, uh, starting about 10 years ago, where we would join together people who wanted to do the same thing, stay in their own homes and live better in our own homes, age better. And the model is very simple. It combines one staff person. We only have one paid staff person we have over 250 volunteers and we have over 200 and about 220 now uh, full members and the volunteers help the members coordinated by our staff person and we actually have office staff people too who help our staff person and we do lots of things to help people and we also do things and we'll talk about them later uh, to help the real problem which we found for us, uh, our average age is about 82. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have people starting in their 60s, but mostly 70s, 80s, and 90s. Occasionally we'll have somebody going over 100. Oh, and wow. um, those people, uh, the major problem we found is social isolation. That's actually more important than having a handyman visit your home um, but 
to stay connected. And that's what we do a, a lot of that. And we also do helping people uh, stay in their own homes. So we talked about this a little bit before, uh, but what has, maybe what has changed since the pandemic began almost a year ago? And, and of course, what's the same? Yes, well, I will tell you, I started my presidency in November of 2019, thinking it would be relatively calm. <laughs> and then in, um, we had about 110 members at that point. And um, in March, everything changed. And uh, we got a call from one of our donors, um, Diablo Foods, and they were having mm -hmm. real problems because as the uh, shelter in place orders came in, they, many of their customers could no longer shop. And they're too small to have big delivery programs like Safeway does and, and Whole Foods and so forth. And they called to see whether we could help. Wow. At that time, we had about 40 volunteers and, as I said, 110 members. And we said yes, not knowing quite what we were getting into. Um, and within about a week and a half, we had 300 people sign up uh, to help to help help shopping and get deliveries. And we put out the word to potential volunteers and we got 250 people to sign yeah. up to shop and deliver groceries. So we went from a relatively small organization to a very large one with one full-time staff person. Oh my goodness. And so um, we scrambled. And um, since then we decided the board made a crucial decision. Uh, we have membership fees. Uh, we're a membership organization. We're okay. nonprofit, and actually 40% of our revenues come from membership dues and 60% from donations. So that's okay. how we split. But we fortunately had um, a reserve and we decided to open up our membership to a temporary free membership for those people. They're called SIP members, shelter in place members and to shop for them and do other things to have them join us. And since then, we've done over 1,500 shopping trips. Oh my goodness. Our members, both our regular members and our shelter in place members. Wow. Um, then, uh, and that's been very successful. It's not easy to coordinate everything, but we have excellent software that helped us do that to, to help us coordinate all of this activity. Then um, because of the social isolation, we decided to move from in-person activities, which we did. We had a men's and a women's group and we had uh, exercise classes and we had, uh, we had just started a meditation class, things like that and happy hours. And we went to, uh, we're doing 25 Zoom meetings a month uh, with with our members and um, we have lectures and we have uh, discussions. Uh, we also started a check-in service sort of like uh, the what Covia does and we have 26 volunteers who call our members every week and we've done 2400 calls <laughs> again since uh, uh, since March and uh, then one of our members, uh, has a family foundation and the foundation donated a pretty large amount of money for us because the other crisis we were uh, having to face and we knew about this was the potential of having uh, fires. Mm -hmm. And um, so we asked them to provide go bags and they, they funded a go bag project, which we had our volunteers, we ordered the go bags and the material. And every single one of our uh, members, our regular members got a go bag and all our new regular members got go bags. And we've distributed 200 and some odd go bags um, to our members. And if you join us, you get a free go bag. Has nice. All the goodies in it and uh, instructions of how to fill up the rest of it with what you need to leave. Um, we had started already um, a backup power plan which we worked with a, 
a local vendor to get a discounted rate and installation of the uh, battery backups so that we have a bunch of our members now have battery backups for their homes. And so when the power goes out, their refrigerators continue to work and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, then and the last big thing was uh, when the vaccine came out in January, we were approached by uh, local doctors and uh, we set up a drive through clinic at Stanley School in the middle of January and we vaccinated uh, over 500 seniors. Amazing. Uh, during a Larry. period. And we had, well, I think, we had over 100 volunteers um, um, agree, uh, set up all the logistics um, from, and you just drove through. It took, uh, I went through it and we went, it took me eight minutes from the time I uh, entered the Stanley School uh, uh, entrance to the time I got a shot. And then we waited about 15 minutes after to get uh, to see whether there were any um, uh, any issues. That's the only time you needed to get out of the car. We had chairs set up and, and a doctor was there to check on everybody. Um, so we've been busy. And, just uh, a tad, just a tad. Uh, so we've been trying to do a lot of things um, for, for our members. I would, I would say so. We, yeah, right now, uh, because the county has changed its rules um, for giving vaccines, now they're giving vaccines at large clinics. Uh, we're no longer, at this point, we've not, we're not going to, uh, we don't know whether we're going to be able to repeat the Stanley Clinic because it's a much, much smaller program than they're doing. Got it. Uh, as, so are you like, well, I, I wanted to make a comment on a couple of things. We did do a wonderful seminar early last year about emergency preparedness. And in this month's um, Dana Wilson real estate newsletter, we did give people all the information about the, the Contra Costa emergency alert system. So if you, if you wanted to go back and read about how you can be connected to all that, that'd be great. Um, and then also you can get a link to go back and watch that um, presentation. I think it was last February, but um, I love the go bags and I'm gonna be calling you later, Larry, to see how I can volunteer for you guys uh, because I'm a La Mirinda gal and my mom's a La Mirinda house. She did get um, an all home generator, which has saved her. It is not inexpensive, but I just wanted to put in my two cents that you know, she's 90, she lives by herself. Um, and she's got a number of different medical devices and chair lifts and such that, yes, they may have a backup battery, but they only last a day or two. So as we know, we lose our power, we have fires, we have floods, we have all sorts of fun things, earthquakes, you name it. We just love living here in California. <laughs> but um, it's been a godsend, so that's awesome. So I love all that you're doing. And when do you think you'll be starting to charge membership fees again? Are you just going to wait till everybody's vaccinated? You can get back into meeting people well, face to face. We, 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 we asked people who were our free members if they would like to join us. Okay. And um, over 120 of them have joined us. We've doubled our membership. Nice. And we are going to continue uh, to provide the free shopping until the end of March, which is the end of our fiscal year. So we will have done free memberships for a year, which is a long time for free membership. And for those people who cannot afford our membership, we have a special fund to provide subsidized memberships. We have some generous donors who are providing for that. So there's income level is not an issue for us. We can, we can help you uh, no matter what income level you have. Um, we do charge dues. Uh, that's for, as I said, 40% of our membership uh, uh, of our revenues. But uh, most of our members, about 70% of them, also contribute to us. So that's how we actually make up the, the rest of our, our, our operating budget is through our uh, donations. That's Got actually more than, more than our, um, our, our uh, membership dues. So, okay, so people are gonna wanna know what are the dues and are you still gonna, are you gonna go back ever to the two levels where you did have the one level that was just more social 
you know, getting together, dancing, you know, meeting right, at a bar, right. you know, so what are the dues so people can so know? What, about what we did because um, our fixed costs have not increased except uh, we had to make our um, operations manager full time as opposed to three quarters time when we started. Got it. Uh, and then and then also uh, provide some some uh, hourly help for her. Um, because we've been able to double our membership, the board decided to reduce the dues. So we actually reduced our dues for the first time in our six year history. Um, and currently our new due structure is if you want to join us as an individual uh, and you get all the uh, help, the shopping, but we also provide handyman. We have people who come up and clean your gutters. We have lawn care. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of these other services uh, at your home. Some of them we've had to curtail because of COVID, but we still offer a lot of these uh, services. Uh, my wife gets a weekly call from a Miramonte senior to help her with computers. And, uh, and so she spends an hour learning more about how to use computers. So we have that kind of service too. Um, so the cost is a dollar a day. So we charge $360 a year for a single person and or $30 a month. And we have, if you're a couple, we charge um, $50 a month. So you're, 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 you know, the first person's a dollar a day, second person's it's like 80 cents. Um, so um, that's how we, that's how we make about 40% of our revenue from our, from our dues. And again, if you need help uh, with your due structure, you, we have, uh, we have subsidized memberships, which we offer uh, because we get donations specifically for that purpose uh, that people want to help. Uh, people who cannot afford our uh, our membership fees, we're medium medium on the medium low side uh, with that due structure of villages across the country. There are 300 plus villages around the country. Uh, Contra Costa only has a small village in Clayton Valley, which mm -hmm. has about 40 members, and um, that's the only one in Contra Costa County besides us. And uh, then there are others in Alameda. If you're in Alameda County, there's uh, uh, Ashby Village, which is a really big village. Uh, yeah. Berkeley, and some other villages, uh, they I think they charge more like a thousand dollars for. And uh, for and Larry, so we're going to wrap up, but we're going to be sharing the village links and phone numbers with everybody as well in the follow-ups. Um, and gosh, I wanted to say one more. Thing thing. Just lost my train of thought. But um, any last questions for Larry from the attendees before we introduce our sponsors who help make this all possible? Any questions from anyone at this time? Okay, well, Larry, thank you. You're doing Welcome. good things. You're doing very good things. Well, we, we try to, and uh, uh, we really want to help our seniors, uh, our members, uh, and others, um, older adults in, 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 our, in our region. Uh, and uh, we, want to, we want to be able to live here. <laughs> and we had one question for you, Larry, I wanted to get to, which was, um, where are the limits to where people need to live to be involved in La Mirinda Village? Because I do know we, you might you might go a little tiny farther afield yeah, because we, field we, we yeah, don't have we, a Walnut Creek, right? Right. We live we live in uh, we we obviously have our members in in La Mirinda. Mm -hmm. We also have members. We have about twenty members who live in Rossmore. So okay. we take people from Rossmore, and we take people who are uh, sort of on the on the edges because Walnut Creek does not have a village. Right. We have some members who live in Walnut Creek. We typically can't really offer shopping services if you like live on the other side of Walnut Creek Got because our, our, our volunteers won't drive an extra four or five miles to get to the other side of Walnut Creek. Got it. Okay. Uh, but we do have um we had we have a couple who live in Alamo. So we do have it depending on where our volunteers um, contact sense. us and, and and if if you're not too far away and we can volunteers help you, uh, we'll we'll sign you up. 
Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Well then, um, and also in in our follow up email, we'll there's a link to the Greater VTV Village uh, Network. I think dot org. We'll we'll share that as well. And so now I want to give the sponsors. Thank you again, Larry. We'll be in touch. We'll be in touch. I want to just uh, give a shout out to the sponsors because again, it's the sponsors that make this happen. Um, the ads that you see in the newspaper, the ads you see um, online, many of those are actually quite costly. And um, so we just are so blessed to have such wonderful, wonderful community experts that are sponsoring. And the cool thing is if anyone has a question, a legal question, a question about if I were to move to a senior community, you know, who could take me around and show me and know which ones would be best? Um, I need financial help. I, I'm interested in, in, you know, a couple of these specific senior communities, you know, what, who could tell me more about those? Um, what if I want to stay put and I want to investigate a, a reverse mortgage or um, I just need some organizing. I've got too much stuff. Um, you know, wh where can I go to get some in-home care help? I mean, all of our sponsors can help with all those. And of course I can help with the real estate questions. But Annalise, why don't we give you a quick little 60 minute shout out so you can say hello to all the attendees today. And thank you so much for your support. You are one of our very special platinum sponsors. You are muted. Hi, Dana. Good morning. Hey, good um, morning. Just on cue, my dog, who's been sleeping next to me the whole time, <laughs> she knew that I was going to have to speak. So, she, of course, she jumped in my lap. Um, but I'm Annalise Morris. I'm with Merrill Lynch Wealth Management. I work out of the Walnut Creek office, although currently out of my home. Um, I'm a certified financial planner, wealth management. Um, I have a five-person team that helps all of our clients with all their wealth management, wealth transfer, tax planning, um, investment management needs. And I've, I've been involved with you for now the past um, two plus years. And it's been great to get connected to such a great ecosystem um, you know, like Larry and you know other speakers that are doing so much to help our seniors, especially now you know during COVID, it's been so tough on the community. So um, having this is more important than ever, I think. I think so too. And thank you again for your support and partnership. Um, Mike, say hello. Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Mike Awadala. I am the owner of Care Patrol of Walnut Creek. Um, so Care Patrol is a senior placement agency. Uh, we help families find senior living options for their elderly parents. Uh, we are considered to be the experts on all the senior living options available. Um, if you have an elderly parent that's still living alone and can't care for themselves anymore, please call me. I can help. Thank you, everyone. Mike Awadala with Care Patrol. Thank you for your introduction and thank you for your support. Paula, good morning. Good morning, Dana, and good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Paula, and I'm one of the new sales directors at Byron Park Senior Living. Um, alongside me is my colleague, Andrea. She's off-site today, but we're both very excited to be here and to collaborate with Dana to be part of this wonderful educational series and to serve as an additional resource for all of you. Uh, for those who, of you who aren't familiar, Byron Park is a premier senior living community located in Walnut Creek, uh, right off of Tice Valley. We offer assisted living and independent living in a vibrant and safe atmosphere. Um, our a Byron Park residents enjoy maintenance-free lifestyle that includes um, some of the uh, most commonly restaurant-style dining, heated pool, transportation, and things like that. Um, and I just wanted to share that the way that we've kept our residents safe during this time, um, we participate in pool testing, both for our residents and associates. It's a fast and efficient way to test large groups of people for COVID and identify active cases before an outbreak. That's awesome. Uh, so thank Thanks to this, we've continued to thrive safely in our very own bubble. And I'm also happy to announce that our community is fully vaccinated as of January 27th. Yay. Yeah. Good, good, good. I know. I can hardly wait. I'm ready. Give me that, give me that shot. Well, <laughs> yeah, hey, so, so I'm you. going to then also introduce the silver sponsors. 
which also are key, key members of the sponsorship group. And those include Michaela Olson with Oakmont of Montecito. And they're actually getting their second vaccinations right now out in Concord. We've got Marty Apple and Martha Eccles with Mutual of Omaha Reverse Lending. So they, uh, they work with the reverse mortgage for purchase to stay in your home and pay for remodeling or in-home care, or you can purchase with a reverse mortgage and not have a home payment. Uh, we have Jennifer Raftis with Efficiency Matters. I think right now she is probably working with one of my clients in Alameda who is helping his stepmom get moved. Efficiency Matters is a organizer and she can help uh, clear things out and get things uh, to auction, consignment, donation, hauled away. Um, and she knows the right contacts and where to send everything or things that need to be shipped for the, um, for the family. Um, we also have Carlton Pleasant Hill Martinez, Mira Gafilo. Uh, she's also another wonderful sponsor there over there um, on Pleasant Hill Road. Um, you may know them as Carlton One and Two, again, uh, assisted living uh, community. Live Home, Dale Martin with Live Home. That's an in home care uh, company. And what I love about them is that they will work. Uh, uh, you know, really at a, as an on needs basis. So if you just need uh, transportation, if you need a couple hours a week, a lot of in-home care companies do not offer that. And so they're very flexible and they have amazing care managers on their um, team. And then we have Avidikian Law Group, Matthew Avidikian, um, estate planning, um, um, excellent local expert and he is I think I think the very special thing about Matthew and all of these sponsors is that they all have a heart and a passion for serving seniors their adult children and their caregivers that is why we've come together to support everyone here so uh, without further ado look for those follow-up emails um, next month's seminar is 55 or 65 plus living options. Some you already know about and some you may not know too much about at all. So stay tuned, join us for that. And we just thank everyone for joining today. Have a great, great uh, day and happy February. Thanks so much. Bye. Thanks, Anna. Thanks.